Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to recognize two fine institutions in my home community that I grew up in, Gaston County in North Carolina. Uh, I grew up in that community, spent most of my life living in Gaston County. Um, and, um, and there's an incredible story. Beginning in 1955, a, a newborn baby named Maria Morrow was brought to the Sisters of Mercy Mother House in Belmont, North Carolina. Maria was born with severe physical disabilities, and her mother was overwhelmed and unable to care for her. The Sisters of Mercy nuns took Maria in, and thus, Holy Angels was born. Now, as word about Maria spread throughout the community, state, and country, in fact, more children with special needs began arriving at Holy Angels. As each new child arrived, the Sisters of Mercy worked to meet their needs. Funds were raised and necessary facilities were built. Over time, more professional nursing and medical staff were hired. Today, Holy Angels provides full-time resident care as well as physical therapy, day programs, and vocational programs through their Cherubs Cafe and Life Choices locations. Holy Angels CEO, Dr. Regina Moody, and her dedicated team of professionals continue to fulfill their promise that the Sisters of Mercy made when they took Maria in 60 years ago. They promised, and that promise is um, now enshrined in Holy Angels' motto, loving, living, and learning for the differently able. While Holy Angels has been serving uh, needs for 60 years, their timeless spirit uh, will be around uh, forever in the, fa in the families they've touched, in the lives they've touched, and how they've helped shape our community in Gaston County. So I honor Holy Angels and thank them for their service um, to not just those people in their midst that they're providing care for, but what they mean to our community.